And this is a quotation from Isaiah chapter 11, when he says, quoting Isaiah 11 verse 10, there shall be the root of Jesse, the one who rises up to rule the nations, the nations shall hope in him. Now that's fascinating for all sorts of reasons, because Isaiah 11 is one of the great passages about new creation. And from the heart of the Jewish tradition, longing for God to exercise his judgment over the wickedness of the pagan nations, look at Isaiah 10 and you'll see a bit of that right off, when God does what he's going to do through the root of Jesse, that is, great David's greater son, then the nations will not be smashed to smithereens, there will be judgment, but the nations will then come to praise and to worship because the root of Jesse rises to rule the nations. Isaiah 11 is here right on target with passages like Psalm 2 or Psalm 72, which speak of the belief that when God raises up his Messiah, then the nations will be astonished and awed and will come to worship the true God and to pay homage to the King of Kings who is now going to rule over them but not just to rule the nations, the nations will hope in him. In other words, Paul is seeing beyond a mere, let's get the world organized, to say there is hope, there is something new going on. 